With the holiday season in full swing, what should homeowners look for while preparing their homes for guests? Maybe there are some things you haven't even thought about yet, but you know what? Dylan Peeble, certified field instructor, is here to help. Inspector, I said instructor, I'm inspector, fine. Dylan, welcome no back. How, How are, are you, you doing? Good. I'm well, I'm, I'm interested to have this conversation because yeah. you know, I like look around, I'm like, okay, is it decorated correctly? Are things put away? Are the toys hidden? Yeah. You're like, no, we're gonna go a step further, aren't we, Dylan? Sometimes you miss the little things that matter the most, so. Okay. Uh, couple things we wanna look out for this holiday season, right off the bat, you, someone pulls into your driveway and it's uneven or your sidewalk's uneven and you have a huge trip hazard. Mm -hmm. That's something that we run into a lot around here just because tree roots and everything, picking everything up, making stuff uneven. Last thing you want is your uncle or your aunt or grandma coming over yep. with their walker and falling over because they can't make it through the driveway. That's so. going to definitely damper the holiday spirit. Yeah, there's a couple other things on the inside of the home, depending if you have a crawl space or a slab home. Yeah. Crawl spaces come with sloping floors. Um, Sometimes what that means is your countertops are uneven. So we don't want to have all the trays of food start to, to slide off the counters this time of the year. So there's a couple different things you can look for. Okay. And of course, you know, when you're talking about that, being able to keep things and you mentioned crawl space, even taking it a step further. And this is something I hadn't even thought about yet. Sometimes you can get, you know, unwanted guests coming through yeah. the crawl space. Yeah. I know it doesn't get too cold here in Florida, but this time of the year, uh, any critter wants to kind of find some warmth and that usually is underneath your house. So that's something you want to look out for too, making sure you don't have any bugs or critters or, or even mold growing underneath your house. So that's all something we can take care of, but we just have to get out there and check it out first. And you know, we're talking about this today and obviously we know the severity of some of the situations yeah. we talked about, but are these things that you see regularly and that's why, you know, Alpha Foundations, you wanted to talk about these today, yeah. that serious? Unfortunately, it's something we see way too much, yeah. especially this time of the year. Um, it really just comes to light because it's not something you're really thinking about till you have all these people over and you have the spotlight on your home. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we like to get out there before this, that way we can correct it before you have everybody over it during the holiday season, so. And you know what, even take the holidays out, maybe people are watching this, you know, afterwards. What, when is a good time to call someone like you and, and have an inspector out to your house? The thing about foundation problems is they never get cheaper. Um, the best time to get them, get them fixed is today. Okay. You don't want to wait longer and run into more problems till then it's a major issue that you need to take care of. So best thing to do is if you think you have a problem or you know you have a problem, just call us out, let us get it checked out. That way we can take care of it before it turns into something even bigger. And you know what, I, I think that's a great line. I wanna say it again, it doesn't get cheaper. Today's the day to call. Dylan, thank you so much for thank being you. with us. We wanna make sure and share the contact information. You can actually get a free inspection if you go ahead and give them a call today, alphafoundations.com.